starting with a form that's fairly simple. Um, and the reason it's bottomless is because you have more ability to change the shape without having bottom. If something has a bottom, you're really only going to start in the middle or the top. Darkening is inherently narrowing. You're cutting out a shape to heal the seam that ultimately creates another shape. And it's always going to be getting smaller. So not starting with something that's too narrow is important. Um, and then by not having the bottom, it gives it the most flexibility to accommodate the seams coming together to change shape versus, versus having that kind of stuck space at the bottom. Um, <coughs> so I keep pulling this out. I never would have found those. I'm glad you guys were sitting there. It's like one of those things you do in your studio, like, where did it go? I thought it was stuck to the bottom of the air. Okay, so I taught a, uh, I taught a um, gardening workshop once, and we never even got to the clay. We spent all of our time cutting out paper. And that's a great way of figuring out shapes. And kind of making cylinders. It's a great way of doing sketching. So there's times in my studio where I'll sketch on paper and then my drawing only gives me so I can't draw readily three-dimensionally. So then by cutting out paper, and this isn't really big enough cylinder, um, cutting out, you know, maybe half, one and a half of these and taping it, it gives you a pretty good idea. And you can unwrap it and actually use this is when working with slabs, you can really use those templates. I think they're at closet and solar, because that would be called a pattern. <laughs> 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 I didn't think that would. <laughs> the one time I thought it went really bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, so when I first started darting, and it was the, you know, I showed those two bases and the one that was more elegant. That was kind of the drawing impetus for me to really, to really do a lot of darting. I had been darting a little bit before that, but that shape that, that kind of undulated like that on the black base. Um, so that was thrown in two parts. The top was darted in four points in an undulating way and then added to a base. And I call those ladies. Um, but kind of all, and maybe it's just true for some of you guys tell me, the basis for all darts is from a triangle. Is that true? Mm -hmm. is that so this was a huge event. Yes, I only saved a lot of time by the time I learned to sew, I guess. So, so basically, my understanding when I first started doing this was that there, there's three different shapes of dart. And, and what, I'll, what I'll continue to show you is that from that, you'll make other shapes. So when I do a cork, when I do a corset piece, what winds up being cut out is kind of the leaf shapes. But half of the leaf shape is So it all comes back to trying. So when you so this is my bottom of cylinder. When I, I what I want to illustrate is that when you cut out this very diagonal shape of the triangle, that you're always going to get this hard dust. Um, so what I wanted to show is that you know you can cut out a narrow shape, cut out a wider shape, and you can kind of see the form that you would get by cutting those out. And this 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 gives you the silhouette of what you would get if you cut out two or four darts. You can see that. Um, so, th so that's that's kind of one shape. The next shape is cutting out this kind of wider, this wider triangle. I shouldn't call it that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm used to everybody getting up there. Um, cutting out this wider triangle will always give you this corner. It's, it's the most abrupt shape change, dark you can cut out. So I wanted to show again. You know, this is my bottom of the cylinder. You can by cutting out the top, the bottom, that kind of thing. And I'm going to cut this out. And I've drawn what I want to make, and we'll see what happens. Um, but you would get you would get kind of these extreme shape changes, and it's going to be the most narrow you can get. And then the third kind of basic triangle is the, it's kind of attenuated and comes to a point. And that's the shape that you would cut up that always give you the crownest, fullest form. But I mean, just to, I mean, some of you this is like dub, but this. I would so many times cut out this shape thinking I was going to get this. And it was just so not obvious to me to understand. Again, I, I mean, there's something, there's some thought process in understanding when you cut out this, this is what you're going to get. And I don't have that. I had to see it and do it and experience it to understand it. To the point where I would cut, cut forms out and then put the darts there, put it together and say, like, okay, that's what this gives. You know, draw it. 